forever be true Cherish this life that's destined for you Live your life with kindness and care Remember, Allah will always be there Be there Nikahun Mubarakun Zawajun Mubarakun بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, Welcome to Islamic Marriage As you remember, last episode we talked about some of the principles and the importance of marriage and why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encouraged us to get married and the benefit of getting married as a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala including having children, uh, expansion in rizq and provision from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us go deeper into the subject and see how we can build an Islamic household. How we can build an Islamic household. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَمِنْ آيَاتِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is stated in this ayah, وَمِنْ آيَاتِ Among the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is this that He created for you wives among yourselves. And then he said, لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا That you may find repose in them. You may find time to relax or place to relax with them, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. But what is so unique after that is Allah said, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put between you two مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا Love, compassion, and mercy. And this is so unique. It seems that also from the ayah itself, that number one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not denying the existence of 